How's it going, guys? It is 2.16 a.m., 29th of March here in Japan. Passable question for Immuno for Step 1. Nearly identical question shows up one of the NBME exams. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical. I'm HLMan underscore medical. Links down below. Find me Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel. Down below, now start the clip. 12-month-old boy. Just completed a course of antibiotics for pneumonia a week ago. He's had three episodes of pneumonia since birth. Chicken pox at the age of seven months. White cell count differential normal. Examination shows oral thrush. CD4 count 250 per microliter should be greater than 500. Abnormality, which the following is the most likely explanation for findings. Let's just hop to the answer choice here. We'll go backwards. Choice E, tyrosine kinase. Wrong fucking answer. First, a brune. Excellent. They gave globulinemia, which is going to be BTK, tyrosine kinase. This is going to be an isolated B cell deficiency where clearly we have decreased T cells here. Okay, so chicken pox, even if we don't have that sentence about the decreased T cells, we clearly have chicken pox, that's viral, thrush, that's fungal. So viral, fungal, protozoal, those are T cell deficiency findings. B cell for Bruton, you're classically gonna have a kid, a boy, clearly because it's X-linked, and it's gonna be from the age of six months, classically onward, and isolated bacterial infections. They can say scanty lymph nodes or tonsils. Those are buzzy findings for B cell deficiency. They can sometimes just have deficiency of humoral immunity as the answer. Wrong fucking answer. This pharyngeal pouch is wrong fucking answer. First to DeGeorge syndrome. So aplasia, third and fourth pharyngeal pouches. So fourth pouch becomes the two superior parathyroids. Third pouch forms a triangle, two inferior parathyroids, and the thymus. So you're going to have down arrow for PTH, down arrow for calcium. Makes sense. You're going to have heart defects such as tetralogy of Fallot, cleft lip palate, isolated T cell deficiency. So you're not going to have pneumonias here. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, phagolysomal fusion. Wrong fucking answer. First to Chidai Kagashi syndrome, partial albinism, giant granules within phagocytes, immunodeficiency. That's all you need to know. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, NADPH oxidase deficiency, wrong answer. First to chronic granulomatous disease, so susceptibility to catalase positive organisms. Half of questions will just give you staph, that's it. The other half of questions will give you more specific organisms like aspergillus, they like giving you serratia sepsis. Okay, Candida, E. coli, you look out for the catalase positive organism, Pseudomonas. So you should just be aware that uh, NAG page oxidase is the respiratory burst. Okay. Tetrazolium blue assay is now obsolete. Uh, the, the answer they want is abnormal dihydrorhodamine test uh, for detection here. Wrong fucking answer. Should I say comma? Common gamma chain mutation, correct answer. This is SCID, severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome. So this is going to be deficiency of B cell and T cell. Now the mechanism can either be X-linked recessive, where we have deficiency of common gamma chain or IL-2 receptor. It can also be autosomal recessive, sometimes in girls, where it's a denazine deaminase deficiency. So B and T cell combined deficiency, not dramatic. It's passable as I prefaced with. So clearly, not only do we have the explication of decreased T cells, but we've got a mix of B and T cell deficiency from the pneumonia, B cell, viral, and fungal being T cell, okay? So it's going to be a sick kid, not traumatic, okay? Now, we could have said scanty lymph nodes and tonsils, that's our B cell deficiency, same thing as we have for Bruton in isolation, and they can say absent thymic shadow, which means T cell deficiency, which you could see that in isolation in DeGeorge, as I talked about before. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. I feel like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.